to ooh, what's going on hold on let's do this this way this way what's going on the concealer is matte so it is not blending right now the way that i need it to oh let's see if we can salvage this what up it's your girl mena in this video we are going to do hair and makeup oh i wish i hadn't done this nail polish it's clashing with my shirt if you're not already subscribed make sure you do it now or if not make sure you watch the whole video to the end and do it at that time also join my text community because it's free and you should because why not? Make sure you comment below and let me know if you're feeling this hair or the makeup look once I get to it. I want to show you the hair look because it is my favorite go-to hair situation that everyone loves when I do. So I figure, why don't I show you? Now I have co-washed my hair and I have saturated it like saturated it with a leave-in conditioner okay so that's the white that you're seeing but you know black girls we know that that's gonna go away i am still so amazed by my curls because i have so pressed my hair twice now and this is not how my curls looked at all they're a lot <laughs> They're a lot more stretched out now. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so I just don't even recognize myself anymore. I just don't. I never did the wash and goes, but now I'm like, maybe I should try it. I don't know. I'm not a wash and go kind of girl. I do want my hair to be longer. I don't know. Comment below and let me know if you're natural and if you normally do wash and goes. Ow. Okay, enough of the hair talk. Now, let me part my hair. Let's see. Let me part it down the middle just because it'll help me. I didn't detangle my hair this time with my wash i don't detangle it every single co-wash because that's a lot of work and it's not needed no need to be pulling your curls apart all the time okay now i do natural my way so if you disagree do what you feel is best okay and this is just how i do my hair i do all my own hair except for recently i've been getting silk presses and i had a sewing recently too but i do all my own hair okay i just figure things out very easily and thank god because it saves me a lot of money that way now with this back part you could cornrow it twice you could do two twists let me just do that it doesn't have to look pretty because it's gonna tuck in we're doing the half a pap down it does not look need to look like anything fancy we already have the leave-in conditioner in it so the hair is protected it's great it is wet i always style my hair when it's wet it's not soaked it's just wet it's manipulated a lot easier that way it does what i want it to do a lot easier and of course when you get to the end twist the product in to saturate your ends you know so they don't break easily so when i was in middle school my girlfriend and taught me how to do hair she taught me how to braid after that the rest was history because you know how guys would like to get their hair cornrowed i used to cornrow in high school that was my hustle and i used to sell candy <laughs> no that was middle school i used to sell candy in middle school <laughs> And I used to cornrow in high school, honey. $10, $15 or whatever. That was my hustle. Your girl's always been a businesswoman, okay? I'm just saying. You could pin it or just put it in a bun. Here we go. Let me twist it into a bun. Make it low. Put it in a bun. The half part of the hair, the back, because it has combs in it, it's good if your hair is not blow dried in the back. If it's too flat, the combs are not going to stay. They're not going to stick into the hair. You need it to be poofy a little bit in order for it to stay. Okay, now when it comes to the top here, we are now going to, you wanna just gather it up and then apply the product. Again, my hair is wet. We are going to sit under the, under the dryer. I've done it where I blow dried my hair and then did this. It didn't look any better, any worse. It just looked whatever. So there's no point of doing the whole blow dry and adding more heat to your hair. What's the point? Now I did, like I said, use leave-in conditioner, but I'm gonna use this Bread Beauty Supply hair oil for the edges because why not? Extra protection there. And the white is gonna disappear when we dry. Eco Styler Gel, Black Girls Dream. You know we need this. I don't have jam. Jam is so old school. I haven't bought it in a long time. Maybe I should get it. The black one, does it leave black crust? I don't know. I feel like the one we used to use back at the Boys and Girls Club left crust, but that was ages ago. Maybe GM has done a better job. Now, here's the thing. This gel is water-based, okay? So it is gonna make the drying process a lot longer. There have been times where I've done this prep part at night and then tied it down. And by the time I was ready to do my hair in the morning, it was good. Although right here in the middle where the hair is most dense, sometimes was still wet. Just FYI, gel is water-based. If you were to blow dry your hair and then use gel, your curls are gonna come back because gel is water based. So using the gel on my natural hair that hasn't been blow dried is fine because it's still curly. It just is what it is. I'm gonna tie it down and it's gonna be nice and flat. So I'm applying an ample amount because I'm using a blow dryer or a hair dryer. I'm not concerned about it being too wet. I'm gonna put that bad boy on high, high, high. And we, we just gonna deal with it, okay? Getting the sides, I'm not doing anything to the part in the back. Nothing to that, okay? Now my hair is crunchy. I'm gonna gather all the hair. You could do your sideburns and stuff, but I don't feel like it. I don't be liking all that. Gather all the hair. Look at that, baby. I love how my curls look. This is insane. 
<laughs> I feel like I have all new hair now. My hair is different day. I'm putting it back. I've done this before, if you saw it on IG, where I made this ponytail too forward, like Batman forward, Batman pull up. It was just too much. So I like to put it way back here toward the part of the hair, okay? Just tying it, because I like it to be nice and tight, but do what you want to do. Make your ponytail loose if you don't deal well with tight hairstyles. Definitely want to smooth this with your hands. Come on, hair. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Then we're gonna take the hair, twist, and make a bun. All the white, it's gonna go away. So just ignore it. Twist and twist and twist and. And then make it a bun. Now try your best to make sure that the bun is pointing backwards, not like sticking up in the air. You don't want it to do that because when you apply the attachment, you don't want your, <laughs> you don't want to do an I Dream of Genie attachment. Kind of centered, we're good, it's fine. When we apply the attachment, we'll make sure that it's really centered, okay? Now, if you want this to lay down in a soft fashion, like it's laid down, but it's not too hard, you could stop here, tie your hair down and, with the wrap strips and comb it at night. But I want this to be more secure. This is, for me, a three-day hairstyle. And then it starts to me to look a little dusty. So then what I do is take off the top, co-wash it and do this all over again. I leave this just the way that it is or I just change my whole entire hairstyle. Keep me in there for a while. You know I just do what I wanna do with my hair, okay? My hair's an accessory. It has to match what I got going on. So I'm taking three of these just to prep it. I'm gonna link everything below by the way. Okay, this is the black got to be glue and we gonna take this on a raggedy toothbrush. You just don't understand what it is unless you are using the most raggedy toothbrush in the whole world. Not no brand new one, baby. Get the old one. Taking some on the brush and brushing. You could apply with your finger, but I just don't want to apply that product on my hand. So here we are, just applying it. Ignore the white, it's gonna go away, okay? And here's where, of course, you could get yourself some swivels and some whatever. I don't really, okay, fine, I just did that, whatever. I just did that one, and not, let me see. I'm gonna go over it again with my finger and I'll fix the swivels, okay? Now, you don't need to put too much of this because if you put a lot, you're gonna find that it sticks to the, the hair wraps. Not the end of the world, but it's annoying, okay? Trying to get it off your hair. So you don't need to take too much, but enough so that at least the front of the hair lays down. It just makes a difference, you know? So I'm gonna wipe this tissue, <laughs> wipe this toothbrush off with a tissue. And here we go with the swivels. If you wanna do some kind of design or something, you know? You just need the finger to help it stay. Do you see that? Apply the first head wrap to the very front and around. The reason why you want to use these head wraps is that the air from the air dryer, the hair dryer, is going to penetrate through these a lot easier to allow your hair to dry a lot faster than if you were to use some sort of cotton, polyester, whatever, head tie. This will make your hair dry faster. Now you do wanna make sure as best as you can that the hair wrap gets all the way up here to the top because this is usually where I still have some curls when the hair is dry and I can't lie. I've just, I have found myself just trimming the little curlies because I want it to look as, as sleek as possible. I trimmed up the pieces off because it's just annoying. I need to get, actually no, I can't use it. You know how they have those rubber cups for your ears? I can't use it because this is covering my ears. So what I do take is a towel and I put it around my head. So I have this Revlon hair dryer that I've had for 15 years probably. I'm gonna link a dupe below. I'll link all the stuff below for you. This is so good because it gets mad hot. And just go ahead and put it right on, baby. Right over the head and everything. And you need to sit here because it's soaking wet in the front with all the product. You need to sit here for, if you got an hour, that's really good. If you got like 35 minutes, you good too. I'm gonna aim for like 35 minutes. <laughs> All right. As you can see, this is the unit that I'm using. It is the Sensational Instant Up and Down Half Wig Ponytail. I love this style UD5. I have purchased this over the past year, 10 times or more. I love it so much. You can definitely re, re judge or like, I don't know, bring the, bring the unit back to life by combing through it with some liquid laundry detergent. I did this on IG. If you saw, you saw a comment, let me know. It's real good, but 
Again, I like to just look fresh to death all the time. And I just buy a new one, honey. I don't have time. Okay. Now, we do have some white. I sat under the dryer for maybe 35 minutes. Then I had a therapy session that was 45 minutes. So during the therapy session, I did not have my dryer on because it'd be too loud. So my hair has been drying for maybe two hours or less right now, which is a very long time. It is still white because of the product, but just take a look at how laid everything is looking, girl. Now, we are obviously going to do makeup. So what I'm going to do is put the hair together and then take another situation and just tie the front down to help this stay flat while it continues to dry. But look at the layage, doesn't it look so good. Okay, so putting this together, you could put a cap on your hair, but whatever, you don't have to, okay? Go ahead and just comb this in, baby. There we go. It's not gonna fall off unless you get into a fight. Otherwise, you good, okay? And then the two combs in the back, tuck it underneath the hair. Okay, right there. Pull the drawstring. It don't need to be too tight because again, it ain't gonna come off unless you want to get into a beef. You about to get jumped, take off your wig, okay? Otherwise, you are good. Now just look at this. Oh, now the drawstring. I have made the mistake of leaving it hanging like that before. Bad idea. Go ahead, put this in, okay? We don't want that. We don't want that. Now you could bring all of it to the side and side and just look at the glorious nature of the curls. I love these waves. They're not curls, they're waves. I love them so much. They're so sexy. This is definitely my go-to look okay get you some for yourself different colors if you if your heart desires and here's the half up part now with the half up part we got a comb we have the piece that's going to wrap around the bun and then we have the hair hello this is 1b slash 4 so the bottom is 4 and I just love it I love it even in just the 1b again I've bought it in different colors before okay so we're here go ahead and put the comb in you know bring this around you could pin this back part right here but again i'm about to get into a fight it's all good it's all good okay taking that piece that was like hanging out and use that to wrap around now what i have been doing is with this first wrap around pinning it i'm using the long bobby pins this is not going to fall off okay girl i was dutty winding and everything and the hair was not today <laughs> on a different occasion and the hair was still hearing okay so don't worry all right and then right around the base like that one time one time for your mind we don't need to go around 17 times because if you go around too many times what happens is you're gonna end up seeing the color four on the front and the base and I want the base to be the color 1b not four so just one time around and then another pin and this pin I'm making sure that I pin it into the bottom half of the wig as well let that piece fall to the back and baby baby we are done you can't tell me this is not a bomb look that we did at home for the free free. Of course, you purchased this for what, $35, $40 and you good to go. Now, once the makeup is on, you ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing. Don't talk to me, don't call me, don't, don't, don't DM me nothing. Don't even mention my name, not even in your sleep. Okay, cause that's how good we gonna be looking. Yes, and then you can just make sure that this is over, you know, so that there's no problems. We don't want no problems, problems. I am already feeling myself. Now, like I said, because we weren't dry here, I would have needed to dry some more. That's why overnight is really good. Good girl, just do it overnight, okay? I'm just gonna take one or two more and just tie it down, and then we're gonna do the makeup. Starting off with the MAC Prep and Prime Lip. Yeah, this is my OE Faithful, okay? I always prime my lips. It's very, very important. Muy importante. Did I say that right? Comment, let me know, okay? Your girl is trying. Bilingual, okay? Tr trilingual. Ooh, can't do it. All right, this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, okay? You've already seen this video of me trying this on. It is very warm, but it all comes together. I want something hydrating today because I just just want something hydrating today. Hydrated skin looks really good with makeup in the winter time, hello. And for the holidays, this is gonna be a great holiday look. This is the color 13.5, back of the hand, three pumps. And we putting it on with the same old baby. I need somebody to come over and wash my brushes with me because I can't even do it. Now this is a natural fit. It smells like gel. I, I said this in my initial video, but my initial video was a voiceover, so you didn't hear me say anything except when I got toward the end. But this does smell like a gel. It feels like a gel even when blending it in. I don't know how to explain it. It is a natural finish. You know, I love me some full coverage, but once we do the whole face, it does come together. Now, I got my sponge that I've dampened or soaked, and then I've squeezed out the water from it to make sure that it's not soaked. And I'm using the Elf Cosmetics Fix Me Out Camel Concealer. D Chestnut, hi. I'm going with a matte concealer because I can, you know, and it just looks good. I like to be matte under the eye. The Armani Beauty Concealer, being that it was natural, was crazy. <laughs> and I don't like that, you know? I want to be matte. 
I want everything to stay put where it's supposed to be. You understand? So here we go. I like to blend from the outer part of my eye first. I want the inner part to dry a little bit so I can get a lot more coverage on the inside. We are not going to go into the hairline. Even my foundation didn't go to the hairline. Do you see that? Because we're going to contour. So there's no need. You're just caking up product unnecessarily. Back of the sponge to blend the harsh lines. And look at that. It just looks amazing, doesn't it? Comment and let me know. Same on this side. Latter part of the under eye area. Take your time, but pounce. Watch my video on concealers because different finishes of concealers are going to require you to move at faster or slower speeds. So make sure you look like I'm, <laughs> oh, I look like I'm selling a car, you know, but it's the truth pinching this sponge and going right on the side of my nose to highlight, but inevitably reverse contour. And I just love the way that that looks. I feel like after I finish my makeup, I'm gonna need to go to a holiday party, but <laughs> I ain't going to no holiday party, honey. See him on this side, okay? All right, now to console, we're going to use the KBD Good Apple Skin Situation Balm, whatever in the color, 098. Okay, using my Sephora 56 brush. Ooh, this is dork. It's dork. And it's going to look even darker because this foundation is a little light. Like if I had used, for instance, the Lancome Tanti Duo 555 Suede C, this would not be as dark because that foundation is dark on me. But this particular foundation is light, so this is looking crazy. We're gonna blend it in, okay? So now we've gotten it in the place you want it to go. Wiping off excess from the brush on your paper towel in front of you. I always keep one down here, very important. And now we want to blend, but not add any more product. And now we are in the hairline. That's why the hairline does need to be washed when the night is over and you're washing your face. Get in that hairline, maybe wash it up because you won't have a little bit of product in there if you're doing your makeup the right way. <laughs> you should have some product in your hairline. Now this is so odd. I don't know why I just switched over to my left hand. And I never do that. Like, what's happening right now? Why? But it's working. I'm able to hold the brush, like, and get it where it needs to go. But that felt so strange. And we are gonna blend. Ah, my edges look so good, baby. See, got to be would do that for you. Gel, mm -mm. not for my hair, but got to be absolutely. It gets it for me. It's like so good. So there's that. Now taking the sponge, wiping off some excess as well, and then going right here to. Ooh, what's going on? Hold on, let's do this this way, this way. What's going on? The concealer is matte, so it is not blending right now the way that I need it to. Oh, let's see if we can salvage this. This side is looking a little psychotic, but we are going to have to go with it. That's the problem with matte concealers, such as this one. <laughs> Once it's on, it's on, baby. Once it's on, it's on. I always like to get the excess off the brush and then go down and make the contour strips for the nose, baby. I like to start at the front of the brow because it just needs to all be in sync, you know? That was a little sloppy. That was really sloppy. <laughs> That was a little sloppy. Ooh, this side is sloppy. My God. Okay. And even this is looking darker than normal. Give it a V. Give it a point at the very tip there. Okay. Back of the sponge is kind of clean. Let's just go right here because that was really sloppy. Mm. No, let's get this again. That's looking weird. Did that fix it? Kind of. <laughs> Whatever. We, we gonna figure it out. Okay. Ooh. I need to put a different setting pot in my kit because I keep on reaching for this Fenty Beauty Honey, Honey Pro Filter and it's nice, but you know, I be trying to rotate through all of this stuff. It'd be a Lot, you know and this is so matte that I don't think that this is a necessity but I'm just so used to doing this setting the under eye that we gonna set the under eye of course the middle of a face here down the nose everywhere that we have highlighted let's go ahead and set that excess over the eye to eliminate the oils that you know you saw but you don't see anymore okay oh my gosh so now this is the point where I would apply my contour powder but because this cream contour that I used is so dark. I don't want to use my LYS Beauty one because it is very dark. So I'm trying to think about what I should do. I do like this. It's a bronzer. I'm going to do this instead. This is Benefit Hula Toasted Bronzer. And this is a color. Is it the color? Toasted? Girl, I don't know. This one. I guess it is called Toasted. <laughs> Okay, so it's a bronzer. It's got a little warmth to it. Let's see what we're doing. Okay, a little bit of warmth to it. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know if you can see anything or not. And now for the face to tie everything in, this is Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. 450 is the color. 450 is looking light in the in the pan, but it does work for the kid. I'm not going over the bronzer because we've already done that. I'm going everywhere else. I did do a video on face powders. Make sure you watch that. It talks all about that and why I use them. Make sure you watch it. And this is one of my faves to use. Just going on my chin so that there are no what? Harsh lines, okay? No harsh lines around here in these trees. Liquid highlighter is Rare Beauty Luminizer. I just, you gotta pay me to use something different, you know, on a daily basis like this. You gotta pay me, like honestly. All right, back of the sponge. It's not really dirty. So tap, 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 blam, blam, blam. All right, all right, so we need to prime the eye. I'm gonna use the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot. The color is Soft Ochre. I'm using my finger to apply this. Whenever I have short nails, I love applying my paint pot with my finger because one, it warms up the product. Two, and it blends while I am applying it. So just why not? You know, there's no need to put it down and then blend any harsh lines. Now it doesn't need to look perfect. It's an eyeshadow base. Tapping my finger into it and then tapping it onto my eye. I want you to comment and let me know what you're using as an eyeshadow base. Are you doing concealer still or ever? Have you ever done that? I've never done that. Or do you do an eyeshadow base? Or do you do nothing, girl? Cause you might not be basing your eyes. And if you ain't putting nothing on it, <laughs> I mean, I've been there when I do my basic look if I'm doing a brown or I'm just doing the face powder on my eye, but when I'm doing color, always gonna base the eye, okay? So I'm trying to keep my face like this and I cleaned my brush using my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner in this container that it came in. I'll link all this below because you need it, okay? I'm using the Jaclyn Hill, my forehead hurts me. Oh my goodness, trying to make sure my eyelid doesn't crease. Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutral is Morphe Palette. I like this a lot because it has a whole bunch of browns and shimmers in here that are great to do. A lot of basic eyeshadow looks, but I know when I say basic, you could be like, excuse me? I don't even know where to begin, so I understand that. Let me go with good vibes for a second. Let me see how this comes up on my eye. It does come with a mirror, but I just prefer to look straight here. Okay, you can't see it. All right, I'm gonna use Booked. I'm doing a gold eye with a red lip. It's such a classic look to do. If you can do a gold eye, you are good. Because when I first started doing makeup, that is the only makeup look that I knew how to do. The only one was to do the gold eyeshadow and then brown in the, in the crease. What was the gold called at MAC? Oh my gosh. If you know what I'm talking about, comment and let me know. Man, I forget what it was called, but hoodwink, no, was it hoodwinked? Woodwinked, woodwinked, right? Isn't that what it is? Comment and confirm. I think it is woodwinked. Oh my goodness. That was the gold of the century, okay? And then I forget what I used to put in the crease, baby. Talk about throwback. So the crease is right here between the eyeball and then your brow bone. Identify it and blend your crease color into that area. I like to blend it in a very haphazard fashion like I am because I want there to be what? no harsh lines. That's why you see me doing what I'm doing. I'm also blending it into my brow bone highlight because again, no harsh lines, baby. We are gonna bring, let me just do it now, leftover product. So just right here to make sure that there are no harsh lines right here. The concealer doesn't blend over here like I need it to. All right, and now this is Boo Bear. Tapping off the excess always is a must. And we are putting this into the crease to build up the color, build up the definition, build up the brown. I like to have a gradient effect whenever I do any eye makeup look. I'm not gonna go right in with a dark brown. That is boring, that is ugly. <laughs> we want a gradient here. So that is why I'm now going in with this darker brown, but it really isn't that dark brown, but it's like enough, you know? We could always accent this with black, but I wanna stay brown today. I don't think I wanna do black because cinnamon roll in here is pretty dark. You might be looking at this and thinking, oh, the crease looks good to me. You don't have to use three colors in your crease. Do what you wanna do. You see what I'm saying? And this is just what I wanna do. I'm gonna add another color to my crease, but let's do the lid first. So we have a few options here. This is birthday suit, that gold. This is dripping, but I don't wanna do dripping because it's giving off a little bit of lime undertone, not what I'm going for today. So I wanna do a light gold. I'm gonna go with birthday suit. It just makes the most sense, okay? Now the easiest thing to do when you're using a gold 
or any kind of shimmer. Use your finger, baby. I like to use the ring finger and let's place it right up in here. Tapping it in small sections, look down so you don't get fallout on your face. Ooh, we could have done a halo eye today. I didn't think about that, but that's okay. Halo meaning brown, gold brown, but here we are. Now don't rush this, bring it over little by little and we're not gonna cover the whole entire lid. We're just gonna go three quarters of the way, baby. Okay, two thirds of the way, there we go. And then leave it because we're gonna put the dark brown on the end and then blend it into the crease so that there's no harsh line. All right, now that the gold is down, I'm looking back, I'm like going back to just see, get a whole visual of what's going on right now. Now I wanna go with mm, Boo Bear again. Before I go into cinnamon roll, I wanna build it up again. Nothing stark, nothing harsh. Using this Sephora 19 brush because it's pointy. It's gonna get me in a really precise area, especially right here. And this is an effort to blend out any harsh lines with the shimmer color. And then of course, make sure that this brown gets to exactly where it needs to be and nowhere extra. For some of the colors you place on your eye, you don't want it to be migrating. You want it to go right into a certain place. And th this brush is gonna help me do that right in there. That looks really good. What do you think? Comment, let me know. We are ready to apply cinnamon roll, which is a dark brown, not black, but it's really dark. And I'm focusing that right here so that when I apply my lashes and they're on, it's gonna look dark toward the outer part of my eye. And it's gonna look really, really good, okay? And you can really build this up, but I don't wanna do too much. I'm also gonna put eyeliner on, you know? So that's gonna come right here in a cut. Focusing it right here. No need to bring this all the way up, although I really could. This looks so good right now. What? Looking lighter on camera, but it's really deep and beautiful. So now in the inner eye, I put Milk Makeup Color Chalk in the color Hopscotch. It's giving silver. I was actually hoping for more of a champagne, but that's okay. <laughs> it looks good, you know, we gonna go with it. Okay. And I'm gonna put on my mascara. On the bottom lashes, you know I'm gonna use the Lawless One and Done. You have to get it. I'm trying to tell you something, it's mad good. And then on the top, I'm gonna use this Revlon So Fierce Mascara. Obviously going to put on eyelashes. All right, all right, all right. Here we are, almost done. Let me take this off. We have really dried a lot right now. Come on, what are you doing? Just a little bit of whites. Okay, so I used too much leave-in conditioner, so I used less, okay? Now, this is actually gray hair. For this part, we're gonna use some of our saliva. Come on, go ahead and just do this to get the white to dissipate or like literally take your finger. This is still wet. This area is still wet. So when I tie it down tonight and all that, it'll dry. Okay, that's still wet, so just ignore that. <laughs> ignore that part, okay? Ooh. I'm feeling good, like I should. I could change my earrings. These are on Amazon, by the way, I'll link them for you. But I don't feel like it. Okay, so now is the lid. All right, now we give it an expansive, okay? This is YSL Beauty. The color is what? 21, is that it? The Slim Velvet Radical Lipstick. Never tried this. I hope that it's very pigmented. Let's talk about how cute this looks. Oh my gosh, just love, okay? I hope this color is beautiful. I haven't tried it yet. Let's see. Look at the, like, look how perfect it is in the in the container. I don't want to mess it up. Like what? This is the kind of lipstick you want to put on display, but like, <laughs> like a museum. <laughs> don't touch it. Don't sniff it. Don't cough. Don't anything. Don't breathe. You know. In the middle. This is nice and shiny. So this is a satin. It is odd because of the way it's cut. It's odd putting it on. You know how lipsticks normally look like a teardrop. This is the way that it's shaped is beautiful, but it's not practical. You have to hold it at an angle in order to apply. Okay, baby. This. This look is looking, okay? I'm liking how this lip looks on me. Loving how the eye came out. It's giving very evening out, night out, fancy holiday party, holiday dinner. Not necessarily lunch, but if you're like me, you'll wear this look to lunch anyway, because you don't care. You do your own thing, you see? Like, <laughs> we do our own thing right here. But I'm liking this look. And the hair is hearing. The hair is long. It's waist length, okay? It's looking real good to me, but I want you to comment and let me know what you're thinking about it. Because I love how this, oh, my nail color is messing me up. Ignore it. I like my nails to match my looks. I'm annoyed. Well, I love how this look came out. I hope that you did too. It was a long one. If you enjoyed this hair and makeup type video combination plate, number nine, let me know and I will incorporate them more. Or do you prefer for me to just do a hair video or just do the makeup video? So it's just straight to the point. Let me know, girlfriend. Comment below. Make sure you subscribe. And as always, I'm glad that you watched my video. I need you to. It's a must. It's important. Like we have an understanding, don't we? I'll see you in the next one. Bye.